What's up everybody? Once again, my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we defeated Gym Leader Fantini here in Hearthome City. And in this episode, well, I plan on leaving and making way for the next town. But first, I actually do want to deposit one of my Pokemon. Not because I plan on replacing it, but because, um, we can actually get a free Pokemon here in Hearthome. But in order to do that, we need an open spot in our party. So now that that is out of the way, we'll go and grab this free Pokemon and then be on our way. Oh, also, real quick, I actually did do some off-screen training just a little bit and leveled up Nettler and Carlton to be more in line with the rest of our team just because they were sort of falling behind just a tad. So I figured I'd go ahead and give them some loving. Anyways, let's talk to this person. Hiya! Oh, you're a trainer! That means you're using Pokemon boxes. I love meeting end users. Oh, what's up? Why that astonished look? Oh, right, sorry. There I go running my mouth again. My name is Bebe. You know the Pokemon PC boxes? I'm the system administrator. I know this is out of the blue, but do you want a Pokemon named Eevee? Sure! Here you go. That Eevee I got from a good friend in Johto, who has a whole lot of them. Who knows how many Eevees he's raised over the years. Sorry, that doesn't mean anything to you. Please be good to it. Oh, don't worry, we will. And, uh, no, I don't want to give this Eevee a nickname because, well, I don't really plan on using it. I'm just going to stick it in the, uh, PC for now, but who knows? I mean, maybe at one point I'll take it out for a certain situation and train it up just to use it in one episode. I don't know. I believe it starts out at level 20, so it's actually not that far behind our current, uh, party of Pokemon. I just don't really want to use an Eevee. Even though I do like it, it's actually a really cool Pokemon and has a like ton of different evolutions, but I'm not really going to get into that. Let's just put a Ponum back in our party, and um, now we're pretty much good to go. There's really nothing else that we need to do here in Hearthome City, so I think for now we're actually going to leave and make our way towards the next town and start like progressing the story and stuff like that. Because it is something that I want to try and improve, like, how much we progress in each episode. And oh no, it's TJ. Ta-da! Kept me waiting again, Matt. Let's see how much tougher you and I have gotten right here, right now. Hey, you're a trainer now. You're expected to be ready for a battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started. We're kind of, like, in the middle of a public transportation hallway. We should probably, like, move outside and not block people's way, but... All right, here we go. It's TJ. He's going to lead off with his Star Ravian. Oh, good thing Amp's already in the front of our party. Hmm, it's like I may have planned that or something. <laughs> ah, whatever. We're just going to spark this thing. He's going to go for the double team, try to raise his evasiveness and dodge the spark, but I doubt that's going to happen because Amp is just way too awesome for that. And there we go, the spark lands, so his Star Ravia is going to be down. Oh, wow, it actually survived that with, like, I don't know, 2 HP. That's freaking annoying. Like, I hate when Pokemon survive with, like, 1 or 2 HP. Oh my gosh, he has Endeavor. Are you serious? I hate you so much right now, TJ. I guess I should have, like, expected the Endeavor, but, like, I hate that move so much. It's such, like, a cheap way to, like, knock your opponent's Pokemon down to, like, real low HP. But I guess it's smart. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna set up Weasel, so we're gonna swap out for Maokai and just completely wreck faces. What's cool about this battle is that um, your rival's Pokemon will change like depending on what Pokemon you chose at the beginning. Like obviously your rival always picks the Pokemon that'll be effective against your starter, but like even in this game, even like some of like the later rival battles, the rival has different Pokemon just like depending on like, you know, what you chose and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of cool actually. I don't really know exactly like the full details of how like his party can change. I'm not sure if it's like based off of like what you've caught or stuff like that, but I do know it's based off of, um, you know, what you chose at the start of the game. So it's kind of cool. Anyways, um, we're going to swap into Nettler here. Reason being is I think Carlton will be weak to Mach Punch, and I'm pretty sure his mom, Inferno, knows Mach Punch at this point, because if it doesn't, that'd be really stupid. I could set up a Rain Dance here, but, um,. I think I'm just going to go for the Water Pulse because I really don't think uh, Nettler is going to survive long enough to really make use of the Rain Dance. It's a really cool, like, setup move. It makes, you know, water moves more powerful, but 
if Mach Punch actually kills us, which it might do, maybe. Okay, good, we hung on, that was a crit too, so I guess that's not that big of a deal. But yeah, if Mach Punch had killed us, Rain Dance would have been useless. I could have thrown out Carlton and done a uh, Water Gun, I think is what he has, I'm not entirely sure. But um, yeah, probably a better idea just to do the two Water Pulses and take him out that way than uh, set up for a Rain Dance. Alright, so he's going to send out Roselia. Um, let's send an opponent just because obviously that's the clear matchup in this situation. So we should just be able to like burn through this Roselia without too much of an issue. And I gotta say, I feel like we're at a good point in the game. Like, we have a Pokemon for pretty much every single situation minus a few. But, you know, we can fill in those holes later on with moves. And uh, we're not too over leveled either. And that's, that's actually what I really like about our team. Like, we're shaping everything up, but we're not like you know, face rolling everything just yet. So I think we're in a good spot. Wah! It goes to show my surefire winning strategy doesn't work. That's just cause you're bad, kid. Say, hey Matt, remember what I told you before? Make sure all your attacks hit. Avoid every enemy attack. I thought that was a wicked strategy, but it doesn't work worth beans. I guess I have to grind it out and toughen up the team a bit at a time. Anyway, I'm off to Silesian Town. See ya, Matt. You'll be shocked by my growth the next time we meet. Uh, I'm not so sure about that, but whatever. See you later, TJ. Uh, let's head back to the Hartham City Pokemon Center since TJ did manage to knock like two of our Pokemon down to like low HP. And I want to make sure my team is in tip top shape for the next route. I probably wouldn't have even bothered doing this if like he didn't knock Amp down to like 4 HP with Endeavor. Because, honestly, I could have just used a Super Potion on, like, Nettler and we'd be fine. Because I don't really plan on, like, using Nettler too much. But, uh, Amp is kind of important to me. And I really don't want to waste these Super Potions to bring him back up to full HP from, like, 2. Um, let me move Maokai out front, too. Because I think he's going to be more useful on the next route. But now that all that is out of the way, let's head to the next route. Nothing else that we need to do in this city or standing in our way. So here we are, finally on Route 209, and I actually want to avoid this trainer and not talk to him. So I'm going to go in this grass, and... Ooh, actually, I think there is an item up here. Yes, there is. It is a great ball. Well, isn't that just neat? Maybe it'll come in handy somewhere down the line. I don't know. Alright, now I believe, um... Yeah, if we talk to this guy, he gives us something. Hmm, a good rod is really good. Wouldn't you agree? Sure. Hmm. We're of identical minds. Hmm. Take this good rod. So yeah, he pretty much just gives us a fishing rod for talking to him and agreeing with him. Try fishing wherever there's a body of water. Oh, incidentally, do you need me to explain how to use that fishing rod? No, I'm good. When you're fishing for Pokemon, the first hurdle is getting a bite. When you start to reel that Pokemon in, you've got to battle it. So fishing gives you twice the fun. Indeed it does. So now that I've got that, we can actually catch more Pokemon out in the wild by fishing. So the Pokemon that we can encounter now on this route are Duskull, which is a ghost-type Pokemon. We actually saw one of those in uh, Fantina's gym. It can evolve into Dusclops, which again is just ghost-type, and then it can evolve one more time into uh, Dusknoir, which again is just a ghost-type Pokemon. By fishing, we can catch Goldeen, which is a water-type Pokemon. It evolves into Seeking, which again is just pure water-type. And the last Pokemon that we can encounter on this route, again by fishing, is Magikarp, which is a water-type Pokemon. Then, it can evolve into Gyarados, which is water-flying-type. And Gyarados is probably, like, one of my favorite Pokemon. But, um, that's pretty much all we can encounter on this route that is new, so everything else is, uh, just stuff that we've already seen before. Anyways, I do kind of want to backpedal just a little bit because I do want to make more progression in these uh, Pokemon videos since I think we are going a little bit slow for some people. So I think in the future I might start skipping uh, some of these trainer battles because I know I've been showing like every single trainer battle on the route. And unfortunately there are some trainer battles on routes that like are required to, you know, get to certain areas. And... They're kind of like boring trainer fights, so I might just cut them out completely. And I know I'm already like trying to avoid certain trainers on the routes themselves. 
Uh, real quick, we can find a Hyper Potion, which restores 200 HP if you just, like, go along this little back route. Don't talk to that Pikachu, by the way, because that is actually a trainer. And can I skip past this? No, I cannot. This is what I mean by, like, having certain trainers that are pretty much required to progress through the route. And, like, I could cut these battles to make it go faster, but I'm not really sure if that's a good compromise or not, because it's sort of all, like new for me since this is my first time LPing a Pokemon game, so I'm not really sure what the, you know, typical standard is, but I guess just let me know your thoughts in the comments on how I should go about doing that, because I'm, I'm thinking about just like cutting all the non-important trainer battles, like everything besides battles with people inside the gym, the gym leader, and my rival, like stuff like that. Obviously the trade-off would be you guys would see less Pokemon battles, but uh, we would make a lot more progression per episode and the let's play would go by a little bit faster so obviously there's pros and cons to you know both arguments so let me know what you guys think and I'll edit the episodes accordingly from here on out but anyways we're almost to the next town I think if we're lucky uh, this will be like the only trainer that we actually have to fight and oh no it's an Eevee Aww, I feel bad about killing an Eevee. I mean, look how adorable it is, but it has to die because it's standing in my way. I'm so sorry, Eevee. Oh, it hung on with like one HP. That's like the second time this has happened in this episode. Eevee, just go away. I'm sorry. I don't want to see your cute face anymore. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, I think she has one more Pokemon left, and it's Mime Jr., so... I guess we'll swap out for Maokai since I know Razor Leaf will take out Mime Jr. in like one second. So that'll hopefully finish up this battle and then we can move on to the next town. Actually, I think there is like an item on the way to the next town that I actually really want to get. So I'm going to try and find that and uh, then we'll go to the next town. It shouldn't be that hard to find though. I think I know where it is. It's just a matter of actually like getting it anyways there we go down goes that trainer so now if I'm lucky I can bypass this guy and ooh, there's actually I'm here too this is an ether not what I was looking for but I will take it anyways um there's nothing down here I don't think ah yes the item that I want is actually towards the left so hopefully we can get over here and not battle anybody um, oh yeah here's the problem so we need to use our bike to basically uh, ride up this little slope, but that normally wouldn't be a problem unless you're using the DS that I'm using, which the D-pad on this thing is kind of wonky, which is like why I sometimes just walk into walls, and I'm sure you guys have noticed that. But uh, yeah, it's because the D-pad on this thing is kind of messed up, so this this might take a while, actually. Oh man, you can like maintain your speed while you turn. Oh, there we go, we actually got it, sweet! And we got a Calcium. I believe this uh, raises the special attack stat of whatever Pokemon you give it to. So it's actually a really cool item. And now that that random battle with a Roselia is out of the way, we are pretty much at Silesian Town. Oh, what's this? Hang on. Oh, it's TJ again. Yahoo! What do you want? Hey, Matt! I've got something cool. I'll show you as a special favor. All right, what's up? Huh? What the? What's this all about? I've got some seals, but I forgot to put them on. Well, that's your problem. All right, it's because I was at the ruins. The ruins here are cool. You have to check it out. I even found a hidden machine. It was defog. Anyways, I'll battle you another time. See ya. Well, that was... Completely random, but I guess that's what makes TJ TJ. So now that we're here in Silesian Town, let's just head to the Pokemon Center and heal up our Pokemon. And I think that's going to be a good place to end off this episode. So, once again guys, my name is Matt. If you enjoyed this video, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. But, with that, I will catch you guys in the next one.